Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? I think this is a good pickup. David Hay signing Tony Yoka, well, David Hay and Richard Schaefer. They signed Tony Yoka, super heavyweight gold medalist from the Rio Games. Um, I'm familiar with Tony Yoka. I actually did a video on him January 20th, 2016. And in that video, I was discussing the chances of Yoka winning a gold medal at the Olympics, and he went on to win it. Um, and if you were paying attention to the uh, to the amateur boxing, you know, the last few years, you know, anybody that, uh, you know, with a set of eyes would have known that, you know, Yoka would have been one of the favorites to win gold. You know, just I did an individual video on him because the talent just stood out to me. You know what I mean? Um, I've seen the good and bad of Yoka. I've seen him, you know, win a gold medal. Some people thought he should have lost, but that was the second time he had beat Joe Joyce, too. Um, he had beat him in the uh, World Amateur Championships, too, and uh, people thought that was debatable. But um, seen him uh, fight Ivan Deitchko, Philippe Herkovic, um, and... You know, Yoka has a lot of experience against other big heavyweights on the international level, too. So, um, you know, him turning pro, I don't think it's going to be a shock as far as adapting to this new, you know, uh, versions of heavyweights, these big, tall heavyweights, man. So he's going to feel right at home with that because um, he's been fighting those type of guys for the last few years here. He also beat Joseph Parker in the 2010 Youth Olympics. That fight... I believe should still be on YouTube. I watched it uh, once on YouTube here before, so hopefully it's still up. But um, I remember Parker had a bust that he bust his mouth open or something. I remember that fight. But that was 2010 when he beat Parker in the Youth Olympics for the uh, gold medal. Um, yeah, I believe that was the gold medal round he beat him in. Um, you know, so I'm curious to see how this hookup with Virgil Hunter is going to go. Hunter has, has trained two... Two other amateur, well, one of them turned pro, but he was working with him right up until he turned pro. His first and you know for his first pro fight, Khan Sheehan uh, from Ireland, who actually is working. He's now he's with the Fury camp. He went back, you know, I believe he possibly wanted to be closer to home. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm thinking. I mean, the Fury camp is a good camp to be in as well. But uh, I remember Khan Sheehan, the big, tall, heavyweight. I think he's like 6'5", 230 pounds. He was working with um he was working with Virgil Hunter. Um I actually read an article on boxingnewsonline.net. I'll probably leave it in the description box and uh Khan Sheehan said he learned a lot from Virgil Hunter. He went into detail about things that he learned uh, from working with uh, Virgil even though they only worked for a short time. You know, so um another guy was Marlo Moore who was an Olympic hopeful. He, he didn't make the Olympics. Um, he did win the Olympic trials. He upset Darmani Rock, who's uh, another young guy that signed with Rock Nation, who's seven and zero right now at the time. Um, at this time, so you know Hunter has had his, you know, he has been working with some some other heavyweights. So I'm curious to see what he does with Tony Yoka, a gold medalist. You know, we seen what he did with Andre Ward, who was a gold medalist. So, um, but he had Ward, you know, when he was a since he was a kid. But gonna see what what this going to look like with Tony Yoka. I, Obviously, there's a lot of things that Hunter can teach him. You know, what I mean, I, not just me saying it. Khan Sheehan said he learned a lot. You know, what I mean, so um, so did Marlo Moore and, all, and both of those guys, super heavyweights. You know, what I mean, and I we obviously know that Hunter worked with other world champion fighters. You know, what I mean, but I'm just saying, as far as big guys, these young, up and coming super heavyweights. Um, yeah, man, I cannot wait to see, you know, how this uh how this is going to work between the two of them i think hunter going to teach him he's going he's going to teach him well man so uh david hay and them those guys they signed tony yoke i think it's a great move i'm sure tony yoke probably even looks up to david hay i'm sure he probably remembers watching uh david hay fight jean mormec that night in paris you know what i mean he probably remembers watching that you know they got him a uh schaefer and 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 hay got him a huge tv deal out there i believe with canal sport you know, so um, right now Tony Yoka is, is enjoying all the perks of being a gold medalist. You know, this is what happens when you come into boxing with that gold medal. You know, you got promoters and you got um, TV deals and 
all type of endorsements right at your feet just from that gold medal alone. You know what I mean? But um, Tony Yoka, stylistically, I like his style. He can do a little bit of both. He can bang and be aggressive and come forward. Um, he can land, you know, he can work the body good when he's on the inside, work it well when he's on the inside. I like his legs. I like when he moves and uses his jab. He has a good set of legs. Um, he can be elusive and quick, you know what I mean? So, and he's strong too, and he's still learning. He's still learning, you know what I mean? So I think it's a good move. I think it's a good pickup. I'm excited, man. You know, what, just, what, a few weeks ago, Frank Warren signed Daniel Dubai, the 19-year-old kid, you know what I mean? So... Should be an interesting year, man. Just my opinion on it. I'm out.